Faith without works is dead. Living life is not a theory. It must be experienced. Risks must be taken. Fears are dealt with now that we are becoming right-sized. Having found humility and enjoying taking direction from the power that knows. We trust the process and our shoulders drop. Smiles appear on our face more than frowns. We let go and let God show us the way. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. A Look Backward August 12th First, we take a look backward and try to discover where we have been at fault. Next, we make a vigorous attempt to repair the damage we have done. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 77. As a traveler on a fresh and exciting Alcoholics Anonymous journey of recovery, I experienced a newfound peace of mind and the horizon appeared clear and bright, rather than obscure and dim. Reviewing my life to discover where I had been at fault seemed to be such an arduous and dangerous task. It was painful to pause and look backward. I was afraid I might stumble. Couldn't I put the past out of my mind and just live on my new golden present? I realized that those in the past whom I had harmed stood between me and my desire to continue my movement toward serenity. I had to ask for courage to face those persons from my life who still lived in my conscience to recognize and deal with the guilt that their presence produced in me. I had to look at the damage I had done and become willing to make amends. Only then could my journey of the spirit resume. Looking back now is slightly uncomfortable and embarrassing, but not unbearable with God in our lives. We know God forgives us and we are learning to forgive ourselves. We aren't excited to rehash all the wrongs we have done, but we know it is the only way to get over it and to get on with life, so we do it. Fear goes out the window when we have God to assist us through the process. We expand on our honest assessment from our fourth step and pray for the willingness to make amends for our wrongs. We don't sweep anything under the rug. We put it all out in black and white, pen to paper with faith, courage, and conviction to do the right thing. Amend means to make right what we did wrong and to change our way. We love that definition because when we make amends, we are free to let the past be the past and be able to live in the present. We need it to find serenity and peace without living in the rearview mirror. We are reborn in the image of our Creator in Step 3. It is only a beginning to know who we were, what we did, and what we can become as sober men. We could not be effective and stay sober without turning it over to our higher power. Our faith is critical because we tried the old mechanical willpower-based living before to no avail. Having thus cleaned away the debris of the past, we consider how, with our newfound knowledge of ourselves, we may develop the best possible relations with every human being we know. We are able to go out to our old fellows, hat in hand, now willing to speak openly about our misdeeds and make right how we had harmed them. We've talked with our sponsors and together planned the approach before jumping in and causing more harm. We forgive them for any harm they may have caused us, and we focus on our part, never theirs. We are willing to do whatever it takes, for the benefit is ours, and their reaction is none of our concern. We pray for forgiveness, and we forgive. Life is brighter, and we can live in the present. It is the beginning of the end of isolation from our fellows and from God. A Look Backward August 12th First, we take a look backward and try to discover where we have been at fault. 
Next, we make a vigorous attempt to repair the damage we have done. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 77. As a traveler on a fresh and exciting Alcoholics Anonymous journey of recovery, I experienced a newfound peace of mind and the horizon appeared clear and bright, rather than obscure and dim. Reviewing my life to discover where I had been at fault seemed to be such an arduous and dangerous task. It was painful to pause and look backward. I was afraid I might stumble. Couldn't I put the past out of my mind and just live on my new golden present? I realized that those in the past whom I had harmed stood between me and my desire to continue my movement toward serenity. I had to ask for courage to face those persons from my life who still lived in my conscience, to recognize and deal with the guilt that their presence produced in me. I had to look at the damage I had done and become willing to make amends. Only then could my journey of the spirit resume. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.